So with your toes to bar, what's giving you power is your position, your tension, and your timing in your body. So as always, thumb around, try to um, have an active wrist as much as possible. When you're on the back swing, you're driving the heels back and driving the chest forward, trying to keep tight. So if you squeeze your quad, that's gonna keep your body tighter like, like you're loading a bow and arrow. It's gonna allow you to snap through the bottom and get more um, power bringing the, the toes up to the bar, all right? So you're not, digging your, you're not digging your feet back, you're creating a nice tight arch position, all right? As you come through the bottom, you're whipping through the bottom. If you're doing a toes to bar, you're gonna tuck the knees up and kick towards the bar. So that last however many degrees of a toes to bar should be fast. That's the hardest part. So the slower you are there, the more difficult it's gonna be. That's why I want you to bend and kick versus keeping a longer lever that's gonna be slower to get to the bar. swing it's the same concept you still want that tight arch you're gonna whip the legs through and bring the knees up in front squeezing the legs so you notice how that that skill practice will feed you right into what a toes of bar is gonna look and feel like it's strong tight arch bring the knees up so you whip through the bottom bring the knees up and then you're gonna be kicking at the bar eventually. So you wanna practice the kipping knee raise in a way that's gonna inform your toes to bar later. 